Ladies and gentlemen, today we are not playing around. We're going all out in this system to bring you guys an ultimate water-cooled PC. Now, of course, it wouldn't be ultimate if we didn't include some customization of the case. In today's system, we have the Asus ROG Glacial Motherboard. Now, this motherboard comes with its own monoblock, which was built by EK. Now, of course, inside the motherboard, we need a really good CPU, so we have the 11900K from Intel. Now, for our gaming, we have the Asus RTX 3090 EKWB. This is a pre-blocked GPU. Now, of course, we need some storage for the system. So we have not one, but two Crucial P5, two terabyte drives. Now pair that with 64 gigs of the Crucial Ballistics Max gaming memory at 4,000 megahertz and some cooling from EK Waterblocks, we have ourselves one beefy computer. But we need something to power all of this goodness. So of course, we have the Asus ROG Thor 1200 watts power supply. And to keep everything cool, we have Leon Lee's brand new uni fans. So with that being said, let's get on into the video. So the case we're gonna be using today is the ROG Strix Helios, and this is a big boy. This is going to be capable of all of our water cooling needs. We're gonna fit two 360 radiators inside. So let's get this thing opened and see what it has to offer. So the Helios is unboxed and I'm not 100% sure what we're gonna be doing with it yet because I do wanna make this really unique and customize it in some way. There is a 360 radiator which will be going up the top and one at the front, but I'm kind of thinking, do we want it up the top or not? Because I could utilize that to bring some tubes through panels and things like that. So we'll wait and see on which direction we head there. Now for an ultimate system, you need an ultimate motherboard. So right here we have the Asus ROG Maximus Extreme Glacial. Now this is a beast of a motherboard. Has all of the features you want, plus what really excites me about this motherboard is the built-in monoblock for the system. Let's go ahead and we'll get this motherboard out and we'll give you guys a bit of a look. For the CPU, we are going with Intel's flagship 11900K. Now this is the unlocked K variant because we are, of course, water cooling. So we wanna try and do a bit of overclocking with this CPU as well. Now this CPU has eight cores and 16 threads and there's gonna be plenty for our games. Everybody move your body.
the RAM, we're gonna be putting in some of the Crucial Ballistics Max Gaming Memory. I have two kits here, each with 32 gigs in, so that's gonna be a total of 64 gigs running at 4,000 megahertz. So it's nice, high speed memory, really good for gaming. Let's go ahead and unbox this. Now for our ultimate system, we are gonna need plenty of storage. So we have two crucial P5 M.2 drives. One of them, we're gonna have the OS and important programs on that we're gonna be using frequently. And the second I'm thinking we're gonna be using for games and you know just other programs which don't really need to be on the main drive. So let's go ahead and unbox both of these and we'll chuck them in the system. Last time we did a full ASUS build, a lot of you guys were curious what this particular thing was that we included in the system. Now this is kind of like an expansion drive to add more M.2 drives to. And we utilized this in our previous system and it's great for just expanding your storage on the fly. You can simply put it in here and insert it into the motherboard, kind of like how you insert RAM. Now personally, I also think it looks really cool so I'm gonna be utilizing this with our storage. Look at this motherboard. It turned out absolutely incredible and it weighs a ton. Jeez, you could have a solid workout just lifting this motherboard inside the case. Now that we're getting this installed, it's time to progress a bit today. This is day two of the build. Installing the motherboard today. Hopefully we'll get all of the rest of the components in as well. And then we can start working on some of the customization and the tube work. So we'll just screw all of these in and we'll be back with you after this. So we're gonna be putting a single EK360 radiator inside this PC. Now we were contemplating on putting two in and I wouldn't wanna go any less than a 360 for a 3090 build, but we're gonna sacrifice one of the 360 radiators in order to accommodate for some really nice tube work. So we've got this single 360 radiator here and we know that it is more than enough for an 11900K and a 3090 because we've already tested it out. So let's go ahead, get this thing unboxed and installed in the system. So we're gonna be using the Leon Lee AL120 Unifans. These are brand new, just released, and these have absolutely amazing static pressure and airflow. So it's gonna be great for our single 360 millimeter radiator system. Now the excellent thing about the Unifans, and I wish a lot of companies would do the same thing, is you can connect every single fan together. So say you have a 360 radiator, connect all three fans together, and they run off of one single cable. And I mean one cable which powers both the fan and the RGB as well. All right, so check this out. So the Leon Lee Uni fans, all you have to do is line them up, slot them into place, line the next one up, slot it into place. Then you've got this single power and RGB connector which controls all three fans. So let's go ahead and install it onto this radiator.
GPU is the ASUS RTX 3090. This is a pre-water blocked one. And the best part is the water block is from EK. So you know it's gonna be good quality. A EK and ASUS seem to really pair up and make some quality products. And this 3090 is gonna look so good inside this system. And one other good feature about this card is it's not as big as a brick. It's actually gonna fit inside the PC. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. So for the system, we're gonna try something a little bit funky. We have the Quantum Volume and the Quantum Kinetic. One has a built-in D5 pump. One is just the standalone distro plate. So these are gonna go in the system and look really nice. And as I said, we're trying something different and we're gonna have all the tubes running parallel to each other. So it's gonna be quite interesting. I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly what we're doing just yet. You guys will have to wait until the end. With a high-end system, we need a high-end power supply. Now this system's gonna have an RTX 3090 paired with an 11900K, so we need plenty of juice to power this system. This is why we have the ROG Thor 1200 watt platinum rated power supply for this system. Let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Ooh, one for the years.
Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you all enjoyed this ultimate water-cooled PC. Now I'll leave all of the specs in the video description if you want to check them out further. If this video brought any value to you or you enjoyed it, then consider hitting that subscribe button and leaving a like on the video. I'd also like to know down below, what colored liquid would you like to see in next week's PC build? As always, if you'd like to support the channel, Patreon or YouTube channel memberships is the best way to do that and it helps us to build custom PCs like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.